Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys me taking down my perm rocks. As you guys can see with the first pictures that I uploaded, I went to the salon and got my hair straightened just because, well I didn't necessarily get my hair straightened. I got it blow dried and she added a little bit of heat to the end so she could see exactly where she needed to cut. And I got me a nice trim because I have found out that lately it's been seeming like I needed a little bit of more trims often so I've been trying to keep up with those just so that I can keep my hair healthy and also um, I want to say about September I was in the mood for a little bit of haircut and I just been trying to go to the salon more and get a professional cut because it's easier for someone else to cut your hair because they can see exactly where they need to cut it especially with them being a professional and going to school for it so I decided to come home and just put these perm rods in and right now it looks like they came out pretty good. I um, set under a dryer for about 30 minutes I want to say and um, and they set pretty well but I ended up sleeping with them overnight because I didn't have anywhere to go. So I slept with these overnight and it was not fun. Let's just say that because these rollers really hurt. And yeah, I mean I am tender headed so that could have been a factor as well because even with them just being in, it kind of hurt for me to even like scratch my hair a little bit. So right now I'm just about to add this little mist to add a little bit of shine and to help with the frizz that I'm probably going to get once I separate these curls. And I decided to spray it on my hand first to just get them kind of moist and to have some type of barrier to prevent the frizz. And I'm just working that in. And I'm also going to go back and spray this all over my hair because I do tend to have drier hair. And that kind of comes from the type of color hair that I have. My hair is more of a light brown or dark brown kind of color. It kind of has like a little sandyish look to it sometimes. It's not straight black. So that kind of makes my hair look dull sometimes. So I kind of went overboard with the little mist but it's okay. And now I'm just separating, I'm probably splitting the curl into maybe at least four pieces. I do know that with some pieces I probably did do more, but at least four pieces just to get some volume. And you want to make sure you twist them around your finger or coil them, that's the right word for it. You want to coil them around your finger just because you will um, experience frizz or just it just look flat if you don't coil it to keep that curl. Really the coil is to actually keep the curl that you made. And I can't stress to you guys how important it is to get you a mirror, even though my hand mirror was dirty, but actually seeing what you're doing in the back of your head is important because sometimes the front can be looking oh so perfect, perfect and the back is just a hot mess. So you need to know what the back of your hair looks like because people will be looking at it. I did make a side part in the beginning before I started perm riding my hair because I normally always wear, wear my hair to the side and then have like a, sm um, a small section to the side pulled back or something. But right now it kind of looks 
fine with kind of like having a bang so right now I'm just gonna play with my hair and figure out do I really want a side part or do I want to do something else to it do maybe like a half up half down but in the end I decided that hey the part is already over there I can kind of make do and go ahead and pull this side back or to the side and you guys will see I think it came out pretty cool forgot to mention this to you guys but um, I use the mousse or satin lotion by Shea Moisture to um, put on my hair just a little bit of it because it can revert your hair back but I did use a little bit of that foam and lotion to perm wrap my hair and also I like the TGIN edge control and I've been using this for months now and it seems to have better ingredients and it works really well like sometimes if I don't have time to set my hair and tie my hair down with the scarf it still lasts throughout the day without me tying it down but if you want the edge to sleep go ahead and tie your hair down after laying those edges down but TGIN gets a thumbs up from me because I really have been loving the edge control and as you guys can see I just rolled my hair and now I'm getting ready to bobby pin it and when you pop bobby pin your hair you always want to have the bobby pins going in opposite directions and that's just to make sure that everything is secure I hope you guys enjoyed this video and watching me take down my perm rods I hope you guys come back and see my next video be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell right beside the subscribe button just so that you can get notifications whenever I upload a video it'll come straight to your phone and you can click on it and come straight to my video see you guys in my next one love you I'm not